Now it's time to meet today's Prerna Srot. Friends, big farmers, big lands. It's very easy for them to spend more and increase their output. But in India, there are plenty of small farmers who have small pieces of land and for them to increase their output, from where will they get the money? So, in order to help them, an international organization has come forward named International Development Enterprises India. They have developed a pump which is proving to be very useful to the small farmers. The person whose hand is behind this enterprise, the driving and reckoning force behind it is our Prerna Srot for today. Mr. Amitabh Sadangi who is 44 years old and lives in Orissa. Come let's find out more about him. Here is Mr. Amitabh Sadangi, born in October 1959 at Galeri in Ganjam district of Orissa state. Mr. Sadangi is the executive director and chief executive officer of International Development Enterprises India. Though he has a master's degree in labor and social welfare, he wanted to go to the villages and help the farmers, especially the small farmers who don't have much land holdings and are not economically very sound. How can such small farmers prosper? By spending little money, how can they maximize their yield? This inspiration led him to International Development Enterprises India, which is a not-for-profit organization. The objective of IDI is to bring a revolution in the agricultural sector where all small and poor farmers can have a full participation. We work in the most neglected field. Most of NGOs support in the field of health, education, but that doesn't help in increasing sufficiently in the earning of the livelihood of these people. We wanted to do something where people can increase their earnings. Nobody has been paying much attention to this. Out of a population of 430 million, about 75% are small farmers who are neglected economically in all respects. There is no organization either from the government or non-government organizations that takes care of them. We felt the necessities to do something for them, contribute in helping them. We have set a target that by 2020, we should be able to help at least 5 million families. I strongly believe that we can achieve this target as we have been doing up till now. IDEI has developed step walker irrigation technique so that the small farmers can do drip irrigation on their small pieces of land at minimal cost and maximize their yielding capacity. This is a pump which is used for irrigation but it does not use any electricity or diesel. Just like the way you do cycling or walking, you have to stand on the paddle and walk. This pump draws about 6 litres of water in a minute, which can be used for rice cultivation also. We have seen a lot of people in the northeast, especially in Assam, cultivate rice like this as well as other vegetables. You don't need a diesel pump for the amount of water you require. If you are a small farmer, you have less than an acre of land, so you do not have to spend 20 to 25,000 to buy a pump. You can do the same thing in a thousand rupees. You don't need electricity and you don't need diesel. You can use it whenever you want. This pump can give you water independence because you cannot rely on electricity or diesel. That's why it is quite popular even in the neighboring countries like Bangladesh and Nepal. Today, in the world, nearly 2.5 million people are using the step walker pump. Drip irrigation is quite old. It has been in India since 1970. We noticed 
that only large landowners could use this technology as it was quite expensive further it was not suitable for 75% of the small farmers of the country because for drip irrigation to work successfully it requires at least 2 to 3 acres of cultivable land we worked on how we can reduce the size as well as the cost now from an area of 20 square meters which is the size of a plot behind the house to an area of 2 acres you can use the divisible drip irrigation system so no matter how small your field is we have designed the system for fields starting from 20 square meter to 20000 square meter if you compare the price the big farmers who buy from big companies pay at least 20 to 30000 rupees per acre only for vegetable cultivation our system costs only 2000 rupees but it doesn't last too long only for 2 years our small farmers problem is that from where will he get 20000 rupees he doesn't have so much money nor can a small farmer get loans or credit the technology we have developed is quite helpful to the farmers as we try to ascertain what is the least he can afford and we saw that up to 2000 rupees was what the farmer could afford comfortably the system we have today has helped the farmers a lot we work only in the villages we don't have any programs in the city the reason we are working in the villages is because 75% of the people are from the rural sector as compared to the cities so we decided only to focus on the rural sector the projections that are there today the poor and rural sector by 2020 will be 7% as compared to 75% today it won't go below this so we decided to work only with the rural small farmers and help them one to lift water and secondly if he has a little water to set up drip irrigation where there is very little water they say we can't do anything even if there is little water it's not suitable for flood irrigation through drip irrigation they can grow an additional vegetable crop and earn 6 to 7000 rupees they feel that we have greatly contributed to their development firstly an additional vegetable has come into the country everybody benefits from this plus the farmer is using a low cost technology so he too is benefiting we visit the villages and meet the farmers during our visit to the villages we have noticed that these farmers grow 7 to 8 kinds of vegetables also we have identified two or three crops that are highly profitable out of all the crops that they grow then in consultation with the villagers we try and see how these three crops are being grown just like best practices we then tell them how to grow these three crops and discuss on the price in the market what the prices have been in the past 50 years further we promote credit and economic modeling which tells them that in the next 20 years which crop can give a good price take an example of chili or lemon the price is not going to come down for the next 20 years so how can we grow these in a better way for this we have many experts some in the government but mostly we use the knowledge of successful farmers to spread the knowledge to other farmers we use a lot of promotional material trainings in villages farmer meetings etc we encourage the farmers to use the knowledge and grow crops in the village how do the small farmers agree to what you say it must be quite difficult to make them understand there is not much difficulty it is only to educate them as to how a particular technique can benefit them just like any other marketing company we use video films drama wall paintings and a lot of other communication devices we hold meetings in the villages and explore how the awareness of the product can be increased Just like any other private marketing company that does rural marketing, we also use the same techniques. Like we show cinema for Vana, which is a commercial movie. A lot of villagers come to see it, but the final hero and heroine in the movie is our product. Through this medium, we try and educate the villagers. We haven't faced many difficulties and have increased awareness levels. We have seen that the products we develop and promote really help the small farmers. Such small and poor farmers are also there in other countries like Africa. 
So we have supplied uh, food pumps to 10 African countries, providing them training on how the production and marketing can be done. We have also provided consultancy services to other local NGOs to motivate and promote the product. The drip irrigation system that we make today for 2000 rupees has also been supplied to the farmers of China and Vietnam. We have supplied these pumps to 10 to 12 countries in the world and uh, last year about 30,000 pumps were exported from India to Malawi which has benefited about 30,000 farmers. These are last year's figures. So our technology is going to a lot of countries and this is of great pride to us. Mrs. Basanti Sadangi is thankful to God that her husband has achieved so much success. She has no complaints that her husband is not able to help in the household chores. Maybe it's Mrs. Sadangi's thinking that has helped Mr. Amitabh Sadangi scale such heights of success. It is said that behind every successful man, there is the hand of a woman. Earlier I used to feel strange, but now I feel happy. Whatever he is doing, he is doing for the good of the people. I have full confidence in him. Even though he doesn't help me with household work, it doesn't matter. Because when I hear from others about his work, I feel very proud of him. Before leaving, we decided to ask Mr. Amitabh Sadangi some more questions, especially about his private life, like what he does when he's not working. What are his hobbies? What message he would like to give to today's rural youth? And in his own life, who was his inspiration? My father is my greatest inspiration. I feel that the young people in the villages think they can earn a lot of money by migrating to the city. But if they stay in the village and work in the fields, they can earn a lot. If not agriculture, they can even earn in animal husbandry or in some other area. But if they concentrate on agriculture, they can earn a lot. They can't enjoy their life by living in a slum in the city. Life in the village is quite interesting. And from even a small piece of land, they can make some good money. They can earn rupees 50,000 from half an acre of land. People having five acres of land in the village migrate to city, do any kind of odd job and live in slums. Their life gets ruined over there. My message to the rural youth is, take care of your land and it will give you money. My first interest is how I can help the 430 million poor people and this is my hobby. I keep thinking whether any new technology can be developed for them, whether our organization can do something. From 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I keep thinking as to how I can help these people. You can say computer is my hobby but I just keep on thinking about what I can do for these poor farmers as 430 million is not a small figure. Basically, besides work, I only work. 